please be advised. This show contains adult language, violent acts, and triggering situations. Not advised for children under the age of 13. So, Sam, last time we talked, Whitney was... Gone. Gone. In the notes for your case, it says, let me see. Whitney Walker disappeared in 2003 at the age of 16. After a brief investigation, it was determined that she left Drisking, Missouri of her own free will, perhaps in an attempt to reconnect with an ex-boyfriend in St. Louis. It was believed that she hitchhiked back to the city and may have met with foul play along the way. It also says that... What? It it also says that Whitney Walker's remains were found along Interstate 55 in May of 2012. Partial. What? Partial remains. If they were really hers. It also says in this report that you publicly contested... If you're going to just read the report, I don't need to be here. I'm a little surprised you actually want to talk today. I'm a little surprised you still want to listen. Well, I do. So, Whitney disappeared on Wednesday, January 21st. What happened next? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah, nothing. For about five years. Until... Q-Code presents Baraska. Created by Rebecca Klingel. Starring and produced by Cole Sprouse. Underneath the triple tree, there's a man who waits for me. And should I go or should I stay? My fate's the same either way. Good morning. (laughs) Oh, shit. Uh, Sorry, Mr. Prescott. I I didn't know you came (laughs) in. Told you a million times, kid. Jimmy's fine. (sighs) Right. Sorry, Jimmy. Sleeping on the job? No, I... It's just... It's slow, you know. We haven't had a customer in. <laughs> Relax. Sorry. You know, I worked here when I was your age. Prescott Artisan Deli. Even with the family name on the marquee, I didn't get away with shit. In fact, I installed that bell on the door just so I could sleep off hangovers without getting caught. A bell that didn't manage to wake you up, by the way. I, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't sleeping. (laughs) Didn't I tell you to relax? Late night? Uh, Kinda. Mmm, out of the bonfires, were you? No, sir. No, sir, he said, Jesus Christ, kid. All right, all right. How about you make me a Parmesan chicken on Ryan, I'll forget I caught you sleeping. Yes, sir. Jimmy? So your boss here? Yeah, she's in the office. Back from Memphis already? She got back Tuesday. Uh, Things must have gone well. Ah, she didn't say. She tell you what she went to Memphis for? No. You ain't gonna charge me? Well, no, I, I, I mean... I mean, you own the store... And, uh, well, Mira said, and besides you said I should give you a sandwich and then you wouldn't tell Mira I was sleeping? You said you weren't sleeping. I I wasn't. I, (laughs) fuck. (laughs) You were sleeping. I was thinking with my eyes Uh, shut. uh, Sounds like sleeping. Go and get your boss for me. Not for that. For business. Christ, kid. I'm not going to rat you out. (laughs) I'll get her. Fuck. Mira? Jimmy Prescott's out front. Jimmy's here? Yeah, he wants to talk to you. Did he say what he wanted? No. Shit. We've been in the red for months, Sam. Shit. I have to go out there and talk to him, don't I? Better you than me. 
All right. Sam, why don't you just go home for the day? Home? Who's going to cover the store until Emmeline comes in? I've got it. Right. It's just sometimes I stay late on Sundays to help Emmeline stock. I'm sure she'll be fine. Emmeline can't reach the top of it. <laughs> Are you really trying to convince me to let you stay at work? Sam, it is a beautiful sunny day. Maybe Emmeline is somewhere outside. Go find her and flirt with her out in the fresh air. I don't flirt with her. Yes, you do. Now get out. Go play outside. Play outside? How old do you think I am? Or better yet, get some sleep. You look exhausted. Were you at the bonfires last night? No. Okay, well seriously, you need to go, Sam. I'll pay you for the whole day. Okay, but if Emily needs help later tonight- Get out! Hello? Hey, motherfucker. I'm off early. Where are you guys at? That sort of greeting, I don't think I want to tell you. Sounds like you're at Crystal Lake. I'm not. You're definitely at Crystal Lake. I'm on my way. Wait, Sam, bring, bring more beer. Yo, Walker! Hey! Wow, you guys must have got here early to get this spot. I love the boulder. There's no sand in my shit when I leave. Where's the beer? I didn't bring any. You dick. There's only one shitty pilsner from last night left in here. Disgusting. Then stop drinking it then. And do what? Sit here sober? <laughs> sober? You haven't seen sober since you got to the bonfires last night. Don't remind me of that. Kimber, do you have any Tylenol? Sorry, no. Hungover? Yeah, incredibly. Hey, Kyle, give me your sunglasses. It's too fucking bright. What? No, fuck off. Come on, Kyle. He didn't get to sleep it off like we did. That's not why he wants them. He wants them so he can check out Emmeline Bonham without getting caught. Oh, whatever. I, I didn't even know she was here. Bull fucking shit. I saw you looking. Oh my god, Kyle, just give him the glasses. God fucking damn it. Here. Now you can do your perving incognito. <laughs> like you were? It's not perving when it's your girlfriend. Ugh, you guys are gross. See, now that's just jealousy. Okay, so why'd you get off early? Another slow day? Well, they're all slow days at that place. Prescott came in. Why? Why? Talk to Mira. You wanna talk about pervy? Jimmy Prescott has been staring at me since I was like nine. He stares at you again, you tell me, and I'll knock him the fuck out. <laughs> sure you will. I fucking will. He would kick your teeth in, man. That implies he'd ever get me on the ground. Not happening. Okay, so what did Jimmy want? No idea. Probably just wanted to talk about our shitty sales. Hey, do we have any weed? <sighs> I'm out. Most of our businesses don't seem to make money, but they never close them. It's so weird. Probably because the Prescotts are vain and stubborn. How can he even afford to keep his dad in the mental asylum? It's hospice care, idiot. Hey, kids. Hey, Mike. Hey, Phil. <sighs> Saunders. You got any weed? Uh, if you're talking about the plant known as marijuana or cannabis in the medical community, of course not. I'm not a fucking cop. Hey, you're the sheriff's kid, man. You might as well be. Oh, shut up, Mike. Come on, seriously, I'll pay for it. No, I'll pay for it when I go to jail for getting the sheriff's son high. God damn, I hate this town. You guys want to sit with us? Yeah, all right. Dude, what the fuck? Move over. It's a small rock, man. You guys go to the Baraska party last week? Fuck no. You missed out. I haven't seen a rager like that since the one after Phoebe went missing. We don't go to Baraska parties. Oh, right. Because of uh, Walker, huh? You still scared of the mountain, man? What the fuck, Saunders? That's our shitty beer. No, I'm not scared of the mountain. I just don't go to the parties. It seems fucked up. We all knew Phoebe Dranger. But you hated her. So? Doesn't mean it's not fucked. Yesterday had to be for Whittaker. He disappeared the day before the last scream. Wait, Pete Whittaker? Yeah. He's missing? Yep. What? Sorry, Mike has bad memory recall on account of all the weed. 
Pete Whittaker was the guy dating Sam's sister when she disappeared two years ago. Five. She went missing five years ago. That long? Holy shit, I need to quit smoking. Really? My dad's not the sheriff. <laughs> you guys have really never been to a Barasca party? Not yet. Well, I mean, I have. I, I went to the one after Jason Medley disappeared. You fucking what? I just... I know, look, I know, okay? I, I thought maybe, like, I would learn something to help with the, with the whole, like... What? I was only there for, like, an hour. Jesus, Kimber. You should have taken one of us with you. I didn't need an escort. Jesus, I was fine. It was actually pretty tame. Well, you must have left before one. There's this whole thing that happens at 1 a.m. What is it? The women in white. They come from the woods. What women in white? I didn't see anything like that. That's because you left early. I left at 10.30. That's early, Kay. Who are they? No one knows. That's part of the pageantry of it all. They just come out of the woods in these dresses and masks and point at random people. Everyone else gets kicked out. Man, they make damn sure you get off that mountain. I mean, we tried hanging around and they caught us. A lot of weird shit in this town, but that is one of the weirdest. The, the people that they single out, did, did they come back? They always come back. Let's just ask one of them what happens after one. They won't talk about it. Yeah, you, you really haven't convinced me to go to one of these parties. You should do it at least once, just for the experience. You know, like your girl did. Pass. You guys come to the point tomorrow? No, we've got school. No, you don't. It's senior ditch day, remember? We know. Sam's dad's making him go to school, so we're going to keep him company. Oh, shit, I am so glad my dad left when I was four. Cheers. You're better friends than I'd be. We know. I told you guys not to go. But it'll be more fun if we're there with you. I know, but you seriously... Oh, crap, it's my mom. Shit. I'll be right back. So, Landy, you still pissed at me that Kimmy dated me in 10th grade? Fuck you, don't call her that. She hates it. She used to love it when I called her that. Hey, hey, ouch. Hey, watch the glass, man. You had it coming, Saunders. What'd your mom say, Kay? She needs me to come home. You mean she wants you to come home? It's the same thing, Kyle. She knows you're with me, doesn't she? Yeah, I can't lie to my mom. I don't want you to lie to her. I just don't know why she hates me so much. She never used to. Mm, that woman loves me. Phil. Remember, Kimmy? Whenever I would pick you up, she'd meet me at the door and give me the biggest hugs. <laughs> Christ, you're an idiot. Phil, stop. Hell, I don't think she ever once enforced the door open rule when we were in your room. You're fucking dead. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, I'll shut up. Unhand me, Cretan. Later, friends. Landy. Later. Oh, wait, don't jump from up here. We're way too high up. You'll... Ladies? I can't believe you ever dated that guy. Oh, let it go, Kyle. Hey, look, I have to head home. See you guys tomorrow? You are really determined to suffer with me, aren't you? You know it. We'll both be there. Right, Kyle? Hmm... So, about tomorrow. I know, Dad. We're cracking down on truancy this year, writing tickets. I know, Dad. And I hope I don't have to write a Kyle a ticket either. Graham. I can't control what Kyle does. But you can control what you do. I already said I'd go. God, it's just a fun tradition. Hell, the teachers kind of encourage it. On Friday, they said... I don't give a good goddamn. I want my son in school, and school is where you'll be. Fine. Sorry. No, Sammy, I'm sorry. You're just trying to be a kid. Been a lot harder on you since Whitney left. Went missing. Please don't. Please don't start this tonight. I'm not starting anything. I'm just stating a fact. Not in front of your mother. I know, okay? I know how you feel about the case. What case? It's been cold for years. There's been no communication from Wit, and nobody has turned Samuel. up. Samuel! What? We know she's dead. We all know your it. Your sister is not dead. Prove it. Because I think her body is out there somewhere buried. Go to your room, son. Not until you admit that Whitney never left this town. She's still here and you know it. You can feel it, just like me. Go to your room. 
Her corpse is probably in some dude's basement or in a shallow grave on that fucking mountain. You will go to your room right now or I will take you there myself. No, no, I'll go. Anywhere is better than here. I'm sorry, Mom. And Dad, fuck you. I can't believe how many people actually showed up today. It's because of Dad. Yeah, you're not going to be real popular next year. <coughs> I was never in danger of that. Hey, um, where's Kimber? I miss my little secret stoner. I thought she had the same lunch as us today. She's hilarious high, right? I love that girl. So where is she? Went home after second period. I guess her mom needed her again. Yeah, what's going on with her? Dunno. She's depressed or some shit. Always wants Kimber around, but not me. I swear she hates me now we're dating. Oh, she definitely does. Megan used to love me. Love is a strong word. Well, she used to be, at least. Again? <coughs> Twice in the same month? I've never seen that before. Give me that soda. Are you sure? It's, it's old, man. It's. I think. I think. It's Just give it to me. Just give it to me. <sighs> oh, Jesus! That shit is rank. Well, the soda or the weed? <sighs> Actually, both. They wouldn't have even cleaned up after the last Baraska party. Now they gotta throw another party tonight. Is anybody even missing? Not that I heard of, unless they went missing this morning. Kimber. It's Hello, Kay? Yeah, yeah, we, we heard it here. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't you. Yeah? Okay, yeah. No, he's got work. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs> Fuck, this is shitty week. I need to start buying from Saunders again. So I take it Kimber is fine. Dude. Kimber is way better than fine. She's a fox and you know it. That's not what I meant, man. She's like, if you combined a fox with a really, like a really sexy rat, because they're smart, and she's smart too. Yeah, she's like, she's like a, a fox crossed with a sexy rat. <laughs> you fucking baked, Kyle. <laughs> you working today? Huh? Yeah, three. Emmeline working too? Yeah, uh, she leaves an hour into my shift. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah. Hey, actually, could you drop me off at Kimber's? Now? Yeah. What about the rest of our classes? Oh, who cares? They already took attendance for the day. Plus, if you leave now, you can go into work early and hang with Emmeline. Fuck it. Hey, Sam. You're early. Yeah. I, I thought I'd come in before my shift to see if you needed any help. <laughs> because we're so busy. <laughs> or, uh, you know, if you just want to hang out. Oh, well, that's sweet. Um, actually, if you're starting your shift now, do you mind if I take off? I want to start getting ready for tonight. Oh, yeah. What's tonight? The Baraska party. Didn't you hear the scream like half an hour ago? Yeah, yeah, no, I heard it. Are you going? Um, I don't... Nah, I doubt it. This is my first one, and I am so excited. They're supposed to be a lot of fun. My sister has been to two already. You should come. Yeah, maybe. And then, you know, we could hang out. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe I will then. Cool. Oh, thanks for cutting me loose early. Oh, and uh, you might want to avoid Mira. She's in a mood. Is she okay? Just don't go in the back, Sam. Trust me. Oh, okay. So, see you tonight? Uh, yeah, maybe. And if you do come, don't forget to watch out for the skinned men. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Just leave it alone. 
No, don't. Don't do it. She's fine. She's an adult. <laughs> uh. Come in. Hey. I came in early, so Emmeline left. I just want to see if you needed anything. No. I'm all right. I am. Okay. Uh... It's just that I could hear you crying. How was your ditch day, Sam? Oh, um, it was... Yeah, it was good. Good. Great. I hope you did something really fun with your day off. Actually, I had to... God damn it, how? How am I supposed to keep this job when I can't get this store into the black? Um... We sell less than 50 sandwiches a week. Did you know that? A week. We've been operating at a loss for... I don't even know. Forever? He's gonna fire me. Jimmy? (laughs) This fucking store isn't making any fucking money. And when I suggest advertising, he says no. No! (laughs) Says billboards are ugly. That's why Drisking doesn't have any... Maybe we can make, like, flyers. I cannot lose this job. I need the money. I'm... Owen and I are... We're having trouble getting pregnant. One line. One line. Every month, just one fucking line. Never two. We tried drugs, we did all the tests, and... It's all just so fucking expensive um I'm sorry oh god no 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 Sam I'm sorry you don't want to know all about this you don't I know it's just it's so heartbreaking it's just so hard month after fucking month oh my god (laughs) Sorry, I'll, um, I can call Owen if you want. Hello? Hi, Mr. Daly? This is Sam Walker. I work with your wife. Uh-huh. Um, sorry, Mira gave me your home number for emergencies. Is this an emergency? I think so. Mira is really upset and she won't stop crying. She, uh, she's worried about getting fired and and she said something else about... Uh, I know what it's about. I'll be right there. Thanks, Sam. You're welcome. Hi, Mr. Daly. Uh, Mira's in... I got it. All right, then. Are you fucking kidding me, Mira? What the hell are you doing here, Owen? The kid out front called me because apparently you're making a scene. I was crying, but I had the door shut. You asshole. What is this about, hmm? The baby? What baby? There's no fucking baby, Owen. No, there's no fucking baby. Why are you so goddamn upset? A lot of women go through infertility. Is it because you're a McCaskey? I want a child for a lot of reasons, but yes. That's one. It's hardly the end of the family line, Mira. You've got a brother. I want to be a mother for a lot of reasons, one of which is that I won't be stuck alone with you anymore. That's not the issue, and you know it. It's your goddamn dad putting pressure on you. On us, Owen! I'm not in this Uh, alone. No, don't loop me into the McCaskey family circus. It's your dad, it's your four dead uncles, it's your family's obsession with this shit. Just leave. Just fucking go. You're not helping. I am helping! I've been helping all along. There is no need for this. You know we have another option. No. Mira? No. Okay, I'm sorry. I am. I shouldn't have yelled at you. I just feel so fucking powerless here. Can't even get my own wife pregnant. What kind of man does that make me? Owen. No man at all. Sorry if you heard any of that. Uh, nope, not a word. 
Right. Well, have a good day, kid. Does Mira really have four dead uncles? What? How'd they die? They're the McCaskies. Who are the McCaskies? <laughs> Guessing you're not originally from Drisking, are you, Sam? St. Louis. You heard the story of the four kids who died in the mines in the 50s? No. How'd they die? When exploring, got lost. Dehydration or exposure, I guess. You really haven't heard of them. It's a famous story. The deaths fucked everything around here. Where'd they find the bodies? They didn't. Those boys are still under that mountain somewhere. Owen. Yeah, baby? I think I want to do it. <sighs> you do? <laughs> yes. Sam, why don't you go ahead and head home? Mira and I will finish up here. We'll pay you for the whole shift. Okay. Thanks, Mira. I'll see you Wednesday. Hey, motherfucker. How's work? I'm off. They cut you loose again, huh? Man, that place is going under. Where are you guys? At Kimber's house. Well, she is. I'm sitting on the curb out front. Mom kick you out again. Oh, man, I don't get it. Nobody loves Kimber as much as I do. Her mom knows that, and she hates me anyway. Do you fuck in her house? Fuck you. Don't talk like that when you're talking about Kimber. I'm trying to figure out why she hates you, man. Besides, if I fucked in her house, Kimber's dad would bury me under it. Well, at least I'll know where to find your body. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Got no plans. Now you do. I'm coming to get you. What are we doing tonight? I'll tell you when I get there. Hey, man. Hey. Listen, so we got something to do tonight, but we can't tell. Hey, Sam. Shit. Hey, Kate. I'm sorry, baby. She's really bad today. It's fine. Are you okay? Yeah. She seriously wouldn't even let me come out here to sit with you. It's okay, Kay. Can't you guys do that when I'm not here? It's still weird. I'm sorry, Sam. Don't apologize to him. He just wishes he was doing it with Emily. Hey, fuck you. Why haven't you closed yet, you degenerate? Is it your face? Well, because Emmeline's a nice girl, and I'm taking my time, like you did, with Kimber. Except you took a long time. God, Kay must have dated, what, three other dudes before you closed? Watch it. Then don't talk about Emmeline. Don't talk about Kimber. Kyle, stop. You started this shit. You can't blame Sam for being defensive. Oh, please. The only thing Sam can defend is his virginity. You don't know shit, Kyle. That's because there ain't shit to know, Sam. Oh, my God. You two stop. You're both virgins. <laughs> oh, Dude. God damn it, Kimber. And so am I, so let's just stop this pissing contest. I think you just won the pissing contest. That was fucking brutal, <laughs> Kay. Sam didn't need to know that. Oh, uh, yes, I did. Fuck. Anyway, aren't you supposed to be at work, Sam? Yeah, and what are these plans we're supposedly having tonight? Wait, we have plans tonight? Not we, just me and Kyle. Wait, why can't Kimber go? Yeah. Because we're going to a party at Ambercott. What? Emmeline invited me. I don't care if Emmeline invited you to get your dick sucked. We're not going. Wait, why can't I go? You know why. Krista Portnick. What about her? She disappeared after a Baraska party. So did Anna Grigg. So? Don't forget I'm the only one of the three of us who's actually been to a Baraska oh, party. Oh, trust me. I didn't forget. And those two disappearances had nothing to do with the parties at Ambercott. Jake Finch went missing while hiking. Penny Johansson from the pool in her own backyard. Hell, Sam, Whitney disappeared on her walk to school. I know. We're not little kids anymore telling stories about boogeymen. Fucked up things do happen in this town, Kay. Yes! And we need to stop pointing our fingers at fake monsters and urban legends. Fine. Noted. So are we going or what, man? Well, I can't go. I'm babysitting for the Litzigs tonight. Well, you weren't invited. Jesus, stop treating me like I'm fucking precious. It's only because I love you, Kay. Well, it's still sexist as hell. Okay, everybody shut up. 
Okay. What time do you get off? Ten, maybe earlier. Sam, what time did Emmeline say she'd be there? She didn't. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Kimber, we'll pick you up at ten and head out then. Sam, that leaves you an hour or so to hang out with Emmeline and profess your love to her. I don't love her. I just like her. Whatever. Then we can get out before the ladies in white. Women in white. Whatever. Is that cool with everyone? Fine. Yeah. Great. Then Kay, we'll see you at ten. And Sam? What? We really do need to do something about your face. What's wrong with my face? Emmeline's gonna have to look at it. Okay, fuck off. I'm better looking than you are. Are you? Because I have a girlfriend and you don't. Quasimodo had a girlfriend. That means nothing. Hardly. Esmeralda was in love with Phoebus and hanged for his attempted murder. Quasimodo was a virgin who starved to death hugging her rotting corpse, you illiterate rube. Sounds like you really identify with his character. Let's just ask a girl. An impartial girl. Kimber. Not even close. Am I better looking than Sam? Meh. Kimber, get inside. Hey, Megan. Kyle, just don't. I'll see you guys tonight, okay? Ten o'clock, baby. Kimber, now. Bye, you guys. Later, Kimber. So Amber caught tonight? We're really gonna do it? Yep. We're gonna regret this, aren't we? I don't know. Did you regret it? Sam, did you regret going to that party? This is when things get hard, isn't it? I have a conflict with our session next week. Hey, you know you can talk to me. You know I do care. Oh, I know you care, Leah. I know you care. About the boxes you tick off in your reports. Send them up to management. Yeah, he's doing great. He's really opening up. No more shooting up in dive bar bathrooms. No more nights cuffed to hospital beds. Maybe you even care about my emotional breakthroughs. You can go home at night. Pour yourself some shitty wine. Put on some shitty show. Know you're making a difference in some scumfuck's life. Bravo. I'm sure you sleep real good on those nights. Stop, Sam. I care about you. How could I not? We have spent six months together now. You are telling me a deeply personal story. And Whitney... The story isn't about Whitney. What? I mean, she's in it, but no. This isn't Whitney's story. Whose story is it? Someone else's. I gotta head out. You can keep shutting me out, Sam, but I am still here. Thank you for your permission. See you next week, Miss Dixon. So how was your probie session on Thursday? I'm almost out of dope. Yeah, maybe it's a sign. Yeah, it's a sign I need more dope. Now that shit's gonna kill you someday. <laughs> That's the plan. Well, how the fuck are you even affording all this heroin? You don't have a job. Sometimes I do work for burnout. You work for that slimy fuck? They're doing what? Whatever it takes. And we could get you clean no, now. I'm, I don't want to be clean. I don't want the nightmares. Do you remember how bad it got when we were inside? You're breaking fucking news for the 80th day in a row. You still have the nightmares. Yeah, but I don't remember having them. Now you can get help for that too. The therapy and rehab. Fuck, Eric. I've been in and out of rehab so many times they had to replace the damn door. I'm done. It's never too late. No, that chick came by again for you this morning. No, you were passed out with a needle in your foot. I told you you weren't home. You don't have to lie for me. Not to these girls. I got nothing to prove to them. If you say so. Next time she comes, I'll have her leave some Chiba. I'm low. No. No, fuck that, Sam. No, I'm not helping you kill yourself. No, in fact... No, in fact, I'm not giving you my piss anymore. What the fuck, dude? 
You can't leave me like that. I need it. You don't need it. Then you don't need the age either. I'm fucking done. I'm not helping you lie to your probie again. Look. Okay. Fine. I'll stop. You just... Give me time. If I quit cold turkey, it's gonna kill me. You know that. Yeah. Fine. I'll give you a little time. Great. I just need like a year. You fucking kidding me? It's less than a year. Just... Don't give up on me, man. Please. I can't keep enabling this shit, Sam. No, it's not fair to me. I know. Now, when you die, you don't have to live with any of what happened, but I do. I know. No, I have to keep living in a world where you're dead and I helped kill you. Trust me, Eric. When I die, it'll be all me, I promise. Yeah, that's what fucking scares me. Baraska stars Cole Sprouse as Sam Walker. Additional performances by Lisa Edelstein as Leah Dixon, Sean McGuire as Jimmy Prescott, Kara Santana as Mira Daly, Daniel Weber as Kyle Landy, Sarah Yarkin as Kimber Destara, Michael Deary as Phil Saunders, Aramis Knight as Mike Sutton, Mark Derwin as Graham Walker, Jama Williamson as Elizabeth Walker. Seychelle Gabriel as Emmeline Bonham. Sam Yeager as Owen Daly. Carolyn P. Riggs as Megan DeStaro. Bo Knapp as Eric Tucker. Created by Rebecca Klingel. Directed by Stephanie Abel Horowitz and Tess Harrison. Produced by Rob Herding, Dave Henning, Brian Cavanaugh-Jones, Fred Berger, and Cole Sprouse. Production executive, Tess Ryan. Original scoring composition by Darren Johnson. Recorded by Ryan Walsh, assisted by Neely Oftering. Edited by Ryan Walsh and Ben Melchev. Sound design by Maria Mora and Juan David Shaparo Perez for Audio 4 Media. Mix and mastering by Ryan Sanchez. Casting by Chelsea Block and Marisol Roncalli for Atomic Honey. Script supervisor, Sam Beasley. Post coordinator, Rachel Yanover. Assistant director, Miranda Sampson. Talent Coordinator, James Gelberg. Artwork by Tomer Honka and Bryn Jones. Baraska is a Q-Code production. <laughs>